Alright, I'm just doing this video really as um, a thank you to Louisa. This is that first lady I mentioned on Strange Happening. Let me, I wrote it down. I can't even remember. Strange Happening 53. I'm not crazy. I'm not alone. But she's the lady I had mentioned. And she's amazing. She's a real authentic, authentic type person. And amazing. She put out another video that popped up today. And I, so I clicked on it. And I don't know if she was watching my videos. And, but she talked about a lot of what I've been talking about lately. Um, the duality of the universe, how there's a positive and negative, and you need to bring both sides into yourself. Um, same thing with just talking about chakras. There are three lower chakras, three upper chakras, and you've really got to bring them together. And the heart chakra in the middle is the bridge between the other three and three, six. It's the bridge in the middle. Um, and I mentioned in one of my past videos, that's when I got my armor, was when I brought both sides of myself together and then this armor appeared for some reasons, emerald green armor. And funny thing is, you mentioned that the heart chakra um, color is green, nature, green growing things. Of course, I like green anyway. You can see it in the background. I love green growing things, but it's earth, it's nature. And I love that. Um, I don't know if that has anything really to do with it or if it's because that's what people say the heart chakra color is. I really don't know. I don't know enough about that, actually. don't know anything about it. She mentioned they're all tied to the endocrine system. I don't know. <laughs> just, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, thank you, Louisa, though. Um, she gave me a lot to think about. Uh, she also mentioned about the crown chakra, which is apparently an eighth chakra. Uh, most of the time you see the image of the different parts of the chakra going up to the pineal gland, the third eye up in the head, the crown chakra, the seventh chakra. But apparently there's an eighth chakra above that, and that's where you try to connect with the source, uh, the universe, uh, the universe of creation. Uh, kind of thing and you're trying to connect with it with this eighth chakra which is gold color or actually um, more like all the colors combined together forming gold uh, so that was that's all new to me I don't know um, again thank you for that information something to think about and learn about um, just also mentioned uh, 5d meaning a fifth dimension kind of thing another dimension and that's what all these starseed people are trying to do is waking people up to ascend into a different dimension, a higher dimension. And I mean, it's easy. It's not easy, but it's, it's, uh, what's that word? New age? New agey sounding? Um, I don't know much, anything about that. All my life, through all these videos, this is all just me doing all this. I didn't have a teacher. I didn't have all these books. The main time I wrote read books was back in college days during the trial and error. It's when I tried to read books on different things just to try to get a grip so I wouldn't go totally crazy and that certainly didn't help because all this stuff really did start happening. Happened in front of people and I only included a very few examples with a few people in it. This has gone on all my life, almost every day of my life and I'm almost 57. So eventually I had to give up and say, this stuff happens. I just had to give up on it and say this stuff happens. Something else I found interesting was she was talking about this five fifth dimension. It's this connection to the higher self. That there's a shadow side to it, which is, I, I may get this wrong. I'm not sure. Uh, she said it was like a fourth dimension, even though most scientists consider um, uh, XYZ axis are the three dimensions and then time is the fourth dimension. But for, I guess, the um, spiritual folks uh, the fourth dimension is she called it a, a lower vibrational state or something than the uh, eighth chakra fifth dimension so it's down one step it's, it's dark it's the darker side of thing is people wanting power from materialism trying if they have weird things like me happen to them that they use it for money and power and I mentioned in another video I cannot go that route it's wrong it is wrong I cannot do that um, but that's what they use this fourth dimension for. It's more of a dark side, a dark thing. I think I mentioned that in the last one, that the dark side can get you anything you want. And apparently that's what she was calling the fourth dimension. So maybe she was me being a narcissist or arrogant or big ego here or something, but it felt like she had looked at some of my videos and was addressing some of these things and I appreciate that, I really do. That's probably just my ego. Anyway, um, oh, the fourth dimension, the other thing she was saying that is connected with Saturn, 
uh, in astral travel. Um, it's a, uh, oh, I forget what word she used, astral level, astral something. Uh, did I write it down? I tried to write some notes here, but I'm not even following the notes. Um, she, and she called it lower astral. It's a lower astral thing. One thing with me, I astral travel to Titan, the moon around Saturn. I used to do that in my teenage years. I mean, that was way back when, uh, trying to deal with this stuff. Of course, that's also when I got into these big fights uh, with these dark entities, uh, big battles, and lost that one. But this is where I learned to fight, um, was during my teenage, around that time. I'm like, well, that's kind of interesting. And I, I did all this kind of just through intuition, not through a teacher or a guide or other books. I only read books during the trial and error just to try to keep from going crazy and get a grip and control over this side of me. But odd that I went in this direction the whole time. Uh, even that choice I made, I mean, in the video, the choice, I made a choice for that higher source, that higher self. And that's what she was calling the um, the eighth chakra uh, up there, uh, connecting that 5D higher source, higher um, creator kind of universal creation kind of thing. All that I find very interesting. Even in depression number two, I said, you know, way back that depression, suicide almost, just laid down in bed and died. And that's the universe, do whatever you want. I don't care, do whatever you want. So I was even talking to the universe back then. How weird. But Louisa, thank you. Uh, I appreciate all the information. I don't know that you're going to see this or have seen it or ever will. It doesn't matter. I am putting it out there just to say thank you. And I appreciate all the information.